The military conflict intensifies between the U.S. and Iran-aligned forces in Syria. Iran-backed militants reportedly targeted another base, hosting American forces in Syria's Konoko gas field. Iranian Shiite fighters fired at least nine rockets at a U.S. military base near the Konoko gas field in Syria's Deir Ez-Zor governorate the Al Haddath TV channel broadcasting reported. According to its information, an earlier missile strike was launched against a military base near the Al Omar oil field. In response, the US has bombed the positions of these military groups in Syria's Deir ez Zor. An American official confirmed that there was at least one casualty in the missile attack on the US military base. It is reported that the US Air Force helicopters were up in the skies patrolling the area in search of the attackers. The U.S. Air Force attacked pro-Iranian forces positions in Abu Kamal on the border with Iraq, as well as their camp in Mayadin and their weapons storage facility near Harabish by Deir ez Zor. The series of strikes were conducted in retaliation to an Iranian drone attack on a helipad at the U.S. base in Rumaila, which killed one U.S. serviceman and injured five others, along with another worker. President Joe Biden emphasized that the U.S. will forcefully protect our people a day after approving retaliatory airstrikes in response to a drone attack by an Iranian-backed group in Syria that left one American dead and more injured. But it seemed the president's actions and warnings from U.S. officials had not deterred the attacks, as shortly before he spoke, another American service member was injured in a separate strike in Syria. Make no mistake, the United States does not does not seek conflict with Iran, but be prepared for us to forcefully protect our people, Biden had said in Canada where he is on a two-day visit. We're going to continue to keep up our efforts to counter terrorist threats in the region. The president's remarks marked his first public comments since the U.S. carried out a strike Thursday evening on Iranian facilities that the Pentagon said were used by groups affiliated with Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps. Since 2015, the U.S. has established nine military bases in the northeast of the country controlled by Kurdish units from the Syrian Democratic Forces. Four of them are near the oil fields of Deir ez-Zor and five more are in the neighboring province of Al-Hasakah.